what's up guys welcome back to drew tutorial and if you're new a special special welcome to you guys no guys if you're new to windows or even if you're not new i'm gonna share with you about 13 plus commands that you can use to better understand and to use your windows 11 computer these are very useful commands that you can use and if you know them and use them effectively you will be like a pro within your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC, right? So I'm going to simple jump in now, guys, and go ahead and open up my CMD. So all you have to do is just simple either press the Windows key on your keyboard and type CMD, or you can simple go ahead and click on the Windows key and you can simple type it in. Now you want to run this as administrator by simple right click on it and simple run as administrator. Once the prompt comes up, simple click on yes, and you will have it open as administrator. Now guys, the first command that I want to share with you is system info. Now once you type system info and hit the enter key guys, this will load up all the information that you need to know about your system, right? So you can scroll down here and you can find lots of valuable information about your system, right? So you can find the host name there, you can find the OS name, the version manufacturer, you can find so much more BIOS version, system directory, boot device. You can find a whole lot of information that you need to know about your computer, right? So system info is the first one, and this will allow you to see all the info that you need to know about your computer. Now, guys, the second command that I want to share with you is simple CLS. Now, if you're using the command prompt and you have a lot of information in your window and you just want it to be clear simple type in cls and hit enter will clear everything for you and give you a clean window and show this tutorial while i'm showing you all of these commands i will be using the cls command to clear the screen as you see there so this is the second command so whenever you want to clear your command prompt and have it nice clean and fresh just simply use cls command hit the enter key and you will have a nice and clean command prompt that you can continue to use, right? And that will stop you from scrolling down and seeing all of those long data that will confuse you. But using the CLS will definitely clear your command prompt window there. Now, the third command, guys, that I want to share with you is simply task list. Now, once you type task list and simple hit the enter, this is going to load up all the list of active applications that are currently running in the background on your computer. So using this, you'll be able to see all of those different applications that are running. You can go through the, all of those different services. And if you see something there that you don't want or you're not sure about, you can simply copy those. You can simply copy the name and you can go to Google and you can search for it. And then you can see what it is. If it's something that you don't want to have run on your computer, at least you can go ahead and you can kill or turn off or disable those current applications that are running on your computer. So task list is a very useful one that will help you to check all of those active applications that are running in the background on your computer, right? Now the next command that I want to share with you guys is simply power cfg.cpl, right? Now once you type in power cfg.cpl, this is going to open up your power options and you'll be able to see what kind of power options you're currently using. If you're using the balance or high performance, you can click on those and you can definitely go and change your power options from there. So using this command will open up your power options and allow you to see all of your power settings that you have there. Now again, I'm going to use CLS and I'm going to hit enter to clear my window there, right? Very useful. Now guys, the next command that I want to share with you is sfc space forward slash scan no, right? Once you type this and it enter guys, the sfc scan no will scan all your protected files and replace corrupted files with a cached copy that is located in a compressed folder within your Windows System 32 folder, right? So you'll find a DLL cache folder there and this will go there and check and replace. So if it find anything corrupted, it will go to this part and it will find a cache copy that is not corrupted and replace it and put your computer and replace those curve file and make your computer nice and fresh. One point to note is that guys, whenever you're using this command, you after it's scanned, 
if it finds anything then you want to go ahead and restart your computer or whichever way if it doesn't find anything it's also useful that you go ahead and restart your computer now as you can see here guys my sfc scan is completed it didn't find any violation integrity violation there but and my computer is simply running okay but regardless you can go ahead and you can restart your computer from here on just to give your computer a nice clean restart and you can come back and you can use your computer again so guys the next command in the list that you want to use is chkdsk right chkdsk no guys once you simply write this command and hit enter what this is gonna do guys this command guys is very useful if you feel like your computer is running slow or giving you some issues you can use this command to do a check this command will check your disk for any file system error now if you have any file system error guys this will definitely do a check for you and it will go ahead and let you know what that issue is and also go ahead and fix that issue for you so you can always use sfc scan now and you can always use the chk dsk command hand in hand to try to fix issues on your computer right so it's while one is fixing those corrupted files you can also use the other one to check for those file system errors so very useful command here guys and you can see the list you can see the results here from here if you have any issues and from here you can go forward so go ahead and use this command now guys i'm going to simply go ahead again and use a cls command to clear here and i will show you the next command the next command guys is simple ver simple hit ver once you hit ver guys this will give you the windows version and as you can see it shows my windows version here so using the ver command will give you the version of your windows that you're currently running so you want to have that in your list as well now the next command that i want to share with you guys is simply slmgr space forward slash xpr now once you type this command and hit enter guys this is going to bring up the windows script host window for you and it will show you the version of windows that you're running and also if this machine is currently permanently activated so you can use this to know if your computer is currently activated permanently or not and it will also give you the type of window so as you can see i'm using windows professional edition and the machine is permanently activated so you can use this command as well to see this kind of information now guys the next command in the list that i want to share with you is simple ip config so you want to type ip config and it enter now want to enter this command what this command does it lists out all networks you might have been connected to it also show you the subnet the gateways and also critical network information that you need to know about so using the ip config will definitely give you all of this information that you need to know now guys the next command in the list that i want to share with you is simple net sh space adver firewall space show space all profile now once you enter this command guys you will be able to see your firewall status policy will help you as well so that you can know your firewall is working or not you can also see your firewall state as well you will see everything guys so as you can see here you can find a lot of information about your firewall as you can see the state is on you can see your private profile settings here you can see your domain profile settings here you can also see your public profile settings so you have all of this information that you need to know about your firewall so this is a very useful command that you can use and you want to have it as your disposal as well now guys the next command in the list is wmic space logical disk space get space size comma free space comma capture now once you enter this command guys you will be able to hit enter and this will show you your total amount of this space and also the amount of free space that you have there and this is especially helpful of course if you buy a computer or refurbished computer and you see that oh you get x amount of this space but you're not sure if this is what you're seeing and when you open up your my pc you're seeing total different numbers you can use this so that you can see your total amount of this space on your computer so this is very useful to find out your this space as well and guys the next command in the list is wmic space startup space list space full now once you hit enter guys this is going to show you a list of all the software all the applications 
installed on your computer right so you will be able to see all of those software that are installed on your computer here and this is useful so that you can know what are these software and you'll be able to see the path as well the location as well the registry you'll be able to see all of those information that you can find for all of those software right now guys the next command that i want to use and share with you again is the ping command right no guys the ping command is typically used when you're trying to dissect or trying to solve or trying to solve network issues right so if you're trying to reach a website and you're not sure if your internet is not working and you want to see if there is an issue you can use the ping command to see this right so using the ping command is very useful during network troubleshooting to see if you have connectivity via your network or your internet right so let's say we want to ping for example youtube so we can do ping space www.youtube.com so simple as that ping space www.youtube.com once you enter that guys it will start to ping to see if you have access to youtube.com now once it replies and you see the replies you will be able to see that there is no issue if there's an issue it will definitely not give you a reply so using this will definitely show you as well the pockets how much was sent how much was received and how much was lost so clearly you can see that you have full connectivity to youtube.com so if you're having issues and you're not able to access youtube.com you can use the ping command to see if you have access to that website and you can do this for any website whatsoever right so using the ping command will definitely be a useful one to help you in the future and guys last but not least let me go ahead and use my cls to clear right here and the final command that I want to share with you that will open up the doors for a lot more commands that I want to share with you guys. I think this is about the 14 command that I share with you. You can simply use the help command. So once you type help, this will give you a list of all the different commands that you can use. Have a look at that. So all of these commands that you can simply use within your computer, within your command prompt, you can use the help command to find a ton of more different commands that you can use and as you can see here the cls that i showed you before it simply clears your screen and it gives you the description of all of them as well so you can go through it and as you can see the checklist that i showed you as well you have quite a lot of them guys so utilize all of these commands will definitely help you